Now, I wouldn't want to sound too insensitive to this story because I understand it's based on true life events. But then there are a few things I would like to say about it and I'll put them in three categories. One, I think the movie was too flat. Secondly, I think it was too long, which in turn made it boring. You hear my arguments very soon, so hang on, hang on, hang in there. My name is Bevelyn. If you are new here, do want to be part of the 1000 and Content subscribers, thank you so much for taking time to watch this review. So, Strangers, Nigerian movie. I think it was released um, last year in Nigeria. Now it's on Netflix. So, those of us who didn't get to go to the cinemas in Nigeria have opportunity to also what, watch and then share what we made of it. So, it's based on three events. I think it's a beautiful story. Um, someone's life, you know, watching it play out like, the way it did is quite something. It's emotional and you know all these stuff but then i think making it into a movie i think it could have been spiced up a little bit it could have been a little bit of you know some spice in here some level of suspense some serious suspense some level of curiosity you know on the part of the viewers i think the directors and writers feel this in that aspect because i wasn't in any suspense i wasn't curious i watched it to the end just for you know something we call shaggy reasons i just wanted it to to, to see how how it was going to end not because i was curious too curious you know because i was too much into the movie i was so into the movie i wanted to know you know how it's going to end hey how is are they going to turn up is it going to be okay is it going to pass on no, not like none of that i just wanted you know i i have started watching you know so you know what let's just watch it till the end okay so that was how i felt and i was quite disappointed because if this is even based on a true life event even better okay to give us something to give us something to you know expect something to say oh wow this how is, this how it happened okay i wasn't expecting it to come this way but it did but with the way the storyline is this young boy gets an infection um, even his grandfather, who is a healer in the town, couldn't even heal him, okay? These missionaries come around, you know, they support stuff like that. They take him um, to Lagos as a city. He gets treatment. Later on, he's taken. He goes to school. He becomes a doctor. Like, that is it. Couldn't it have been spiced a little bit with some suspense? I mean, his mother passing was emotional. But I think even that scene... It was too long. This how this is where I come to where the movie was too long. One hour fifty eight minutes. That's two hours, and some parts of the movie were irrelevant. Or I would say that some of the conversations in some aspects of the movie were too long. They were dragged. The conversations some some were dragged. Some were too long. Some could have been you know skipped. Some, some, um, some, especially the lady who was facilitating, you know, the treatment and him coming to Lagos and all that. Some of the conversations she was, she was having with the doctor, we didn't need to hear it because we would see it play out in the movie. Okay, but we didn't get that. I didn't get that. I felt like too long, too dragged. So I kept forwarding. If you are watching me and you forwarded at some point watching the movie, raise your hand. Because I really did. I forwarded the movie. I was just like, I don't want to waste my time here. So it was too long, which made it, you know, too boring. The third thing that, that, that I mentioned, because it was too long, it was boring. I mean, I was just like, you know, because I've started, let's just end this thing. Let's see how it's going to end. And that's like two whole hours sitting and watching something that I wanted to end so quickly. Because I didn't find it fun. I didn't find it interesting. I didn't find it. I was intrigued you know as i said for shaggy reasons for shaggy reasons i just wanted to watch i mean i get the idea you know he went through something now he's done he goes to school he wants to save the world that's fine but then is that all like is that all is that it and no no no, no. Asa. that's all that's all we are watching that's all we spent two hours watching okay okay i wasn't impressed with the story it's a true life event but then it could give us something something that will make us shake in our chairs something that will you know put us on the edge feeling something for the uh, main character who is adi but we didn't feel anything like that we didn't f i didn't feel anything like that just like okay he's, he's a tertiary he even meets this lady 
who gave up his chair for him in um, while they were in primary school. Their connection though at DNM Busayo. I'm not sure if the chemistry was like really there. Some of Ade's acts too were, you know, kind of fake. I've watched his movie. I think I reviewed one of those movies. Um, Sole. That bass movie, yeah. Ade was in there. So I've watched uh, like a number of his movies. But with this part, you know, where it was like, oh, you know, oh, that's you. I felt like it was fake. Like the acting, I didn't really feel the acting. It felt too fake for me, like too detached. Even with the two of them, like the lady beside, I've watched a number of movies and I feel like she has like potential. She's really good. She's really good. She's going to be like huge in no, in no time. She's already big, but you know, at some, some kind of levels I'm talking about. Okay. So even with them, it was manageable. It was manageable for their chemistry. It was manageable to me. It was manageable. They tried, you know, so it was okay. But then on the whole, like, as I said, it's a true, true story. So I don't want it to be, I don't want to sound insensitive to the story or, you know, dis, um, discredit the story. That I think we could have been, we could have had more than what just we just saw. Like, one plus one is two. Like, that's all we saw. So I thought, I'm thinking that it could have been more, it could have been better than what we um, um, watched. So, and then the nest that they introduced, that nest, when um, Ade was taken to Lagos to be treated, the nurse is so rude. I mean, we have cases where nurses in hospitals are so rude. They are not patients. They are impatient. They talk to patients and relatives anyhow. But I get that they wanted to show us that. But I think it was too extreme. Her rudeness, I didn't really get why she had to be so rude, you know, to her this mom and treating, holding the guy anyhow, like a sick boy. That's not how nurses treat sick people. So that one too, and I don't, really, I didn't really get it. I mean, I didn't really get it. On the whole, um, out of five, I'm going to give this a three or two point five. Maybe you should decide for me this time because I didn't really enjoy the movie. So I'll end here. I want to thank you so much for taking time to watch this review. My name is Bevelyn. If you are new here, do want to be part of the one thousand and you know content subscribers you need know, to turn on your bell button so that whenever i post a new video you my friend will be notified so thank you so much for watching i'll see you again with another review until then please take care bye